Hi and welcome to Robins. Here I'm going to show you how to pitch and pack away the Klondike tent from our Outback range. What I'll do is just uh, take it out of the bag here and we'll show you how to get started. So you can see here that we've laid out the, uh, the ground sheet and now what we need to do is uh, zip on the fly sheet to the ground sheet. What you'll find is that the ground sheet has two zipping points on it and they're actually colour coded to the zip so we'll show you that in detail shortly. Um, also you'll find that there's two eyelets uh, on the ground sheet and that's uh, a good indicator of where the front of the tent is going to be so when you're laying out your ground sheet you can get a rough idea of where your entrance is. So as I say we'll just now zip on the fly sheet onto the ground sheet and uh, show you how to do that. So just at the back of the tent you'll find that we have colour coded zips which match the fly sheet to the ground sheet here. So these are the main zips which will then just zip all the way across and around the tent. So once the fly sheet is attached to the ground sheet, we're going to simply peg all of the ground sheet points here. Now we actually supply two different types of pegs with this tent, so what we're looking for here are the flat pegs like this one here. So as I say, we'll just uh, peg this out into place. So the next step is uh, just setting up all of the poles here. Um, so we have the A-frame for the front door and we have the main centre pole here. So we'll just uh, set these up at the moment and show you what to do then. So once you've assembled the poles, which is the A-frame for the front door and the main centre pole here, we're just going to take the adapter that comes with the tent and just slide that on to the main pole here, making sure that the hooks are facing up the way towards the thin end of the pole. And this adapter will allow you to hang in the optional extra inner tent if you have one. Now we'll just show you what to do next. So the first time you uh, come to pitch the tent, what you need to do is attach all the guy lines. You can see that we've already done that here. Um, and now we'll just show you what we need to do with the guy lines at the rain cowl. So the tent comes prepared to um, enable you to have a wood burning stove on the inside. So when the tent is pitched, you'll see here that this would be where the chimney of the wood burning stove would come out. If you're not using one, then you can simply just uh, tighten the toggle here and this will sit flat once the tent is up. So what we need to do at this point is just loosen all these guy lines so that they're um, freely hanging. So when it comes to uh, raising the pole up, they're going to be easily accessible for you to be able to pull out and peg into place. So once that's done, all we're going to do is take the centre pole here and put that into place in the middle of the tent and we're going to raise that up and we'll just show you the details of that as well. So in the centre of the tent you'll find that there's a reinforced area here for the top of the pole and all we need to do is just sit the pole in on that and then we can raise it up from there. So here you'll see that we have a protecting foot at the bottom of the pole here. Just when we're seating the pole in this area, we just want to make sure that it is in this reinforced patch here. And then we'll just place the foot underneath the pole like this and set it down so that it's nice and secure. So once the centre pole is in place, we're simply going to take the pegging points around the side of the tent. A good tip here though is just to make sure that we zip down the door uh, into place before we do that.
Once that's done, we're simply just going to open up the front door again and we're going to take the A-frame to the inside here just to set that up. So next what we're going to do is just dip down the doors again and then we're going to take all the guy lines out and peg them into place. So you can see that we have ventilation at the top of the tent here and what you can do if it's quite hot and sunny then we can peg these out like this leaving that ventilation open or if it's a cold frosty day like today then we can close this ventilation over just simply by crossing these guy lines over like this and you'll see at the top here that that then closes that ventilation. So now we're going to show you how to pack the tent up to get it back into the bag. A um, couple of hints here would be that actually what we can do is leave the ground sheet attached to the fly sheet if you want to and that way you can roll it all up as one. You can see that we've already uh, taken out all of the pegs, we've taken out the poles and obviously we've rolled up the guy lines as well. Another good tip here is obviously just to make sure that if the tent is quite wet when you're putting it away that you dry it at your earliest convenience. So as I say, we'll now show you how to roll this back up to get it back into the bag. So that was all of our hints and tips for pitching and packing away the Klondike. Thanks very much for watching.